80% of submissions responding to the Dublin City Centre transport plan are overwhelmingly in favour of reducing cars coming into the city. The plan aims to end the dominance of cars on the city streets and reallocate the space to buses, to cyclists and pedestrians. However, businesses fear the change would decimate city centre retail business. It is about removing through traffic from the city centre. So this isn't necessarily about saying you won't be able to come into the city in your car. It is about saying if you're... Um, coming from the airport and you're trying to get to Dunleary, it will make more sense to go around the edge of the city using the M50, mm. for example, than it will to come through the city yeah, centre. Well, Dublin city centre businesses who are, to be fair, kind of broadly on board. I mean, I, I do believe that there's widespread support for this, uh, but I think 80% is an overreach. And if you get, you know, one submission from Mrs Murphy in Sutton and another submission from Mr Kenny in Dunleary and another submission from Diageo... You know, it's a bit of a stretch to say that's two to one in favour. The vast majority of people are coming into the city centre by more sustainable means. They're not coming in by public car or by private car. Um, they're they're walking, they're cycling. They are coming in by bus, by Dart, by Lewis. Um, and the majority of people, whether shopping, it's about 84 percent of people when they come in to shop. Um, the majority when they come in to work are travelling by those means. And most of the majority of those people are been slowed down because of the the amount of private cars on the road. There are some fundamental difficulties with this. We are not addressing providing proper public transport alternatives for people. And with the greatest respect to everybody involved, Dublin is a city of two million people and growing. There's a reason why it's growing. It's a fabulous city. It is you know, immensely popular. It is the engine of the Irish economy. It is absolutely a, 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 a city of international standing. It has no metro. We're not planning on building a metro. We're talking about maybe connecting the airport in the next 15 to 20 years. I mean, that is utter nonsense. And if the solution proposed is buses, don't, don't, then don't, I just put don't, my don't, head in my hands. The they cannot take as the measure of their success, literally as the measure of their success, we stopped car use. And that seems to be it. It seems to be, have we stopped car use? Yay, that's our objective achieved. You have to tie that to the economic life of the city. You also have to be sure that you're providing quality of life, not just for the individual who can cycle in and have a coffee, but also for individuals of limited mobility, of all sorts of diverse needs. If we create an urban park out of Dublin city centre, which is traffic free, then that's a very pyrrhic sort of victory. Part of the reason that we want to restrict car access is to give the city a chance to breathe, to thrive, to thrive, to let the businesses really um, have a chance to really prosper. Like we know, it, we know though, the majority. Cafes, you know, the hospitality industry is telling, telling us at the moment they're going broke, that it, they can't cope. And we're going to create a city full of cafes. The man in the white van, the delivery of bread, etc., etc. All of those things that have to happen for the cafe society, which you seem bent on creating because retail is going to be hammered by all of this, I suspect. So the cafe society, they'll get there by bike and by uh, on two feet. But there will be others. If you want to service the, the coffee machine, the man in the white van has got to get into town and park somewhere. 84% of shoppers are coming in to the Dublin city centre by, by public transport, by walking and cycling. And at the moment, they are being penalised because they are asked to wait longer, to, to have unreliable journey times, to be unsafe, mainly unsafe in the roads, um, because we, we allow private cars to continue to mm. use and arguably abuse our streets. And I think that it is time that we put a stop to that and that we let our city and the people within the city live and thrive a little bit better.